Ladies and gents, welcome to Reacts, and this is League of Legends review, 4K edition, trademark. By chance, that's in tech. Did they create some kind of a remaster or something? 4K edition? I don't know. That's usually that's what world play is with Seth. I don't know. Could be a new. Why is he making a League of Legends video now? Wait a minute. Hasn't he made a League? I'm pretty sure. I remember watching something like that. Or am I mistaking League of Legends for something else? I don't know. But League of Legends, people have told me that has a massive lore, right? I mean, when I was watching Warhammer, when I was, there was a time where I was watching a lot of Warhammer lore and I realized like, uh, you know, there are other things uh, that has massive lore as well. League of Legends, one of those. People would not realize that because people just think League of Legends like one of those games, right? Online games that does shit. But no, it has a massive lore behind it, which I always appreciate more because that implies the creator didn't just willy-nilly make some shit, right? They put way too effort, way too much effort into it. One of the biggest reasons Elder Scrolls games are fun because of their lore. Obviously, game is fun, game mechanic is fun and all that, but it, it lore helps a lot. If you remove all the lore and they're just willy-nilly making any shit, like, really think about it. Like, would you care about Elder Scrolls that much, right? Uh, Nostalgia plays that as well, which is gonna play in, I guess, Elder Scrolls 6 and shit. So yeah, League of Legends has lore like that. But it's surprising that Seth never made a video about that. But it's gonna be interesting. Let's do this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe so that way I know which type of videos to react to more. I like video games, as you already know. Uh, I've been watching Seth's and Tech video for like years now. Two, three years, I don't know. For a long time now, you know, Maxer, Sazentech, Martin Side of Hands, right? Uh, you know, Uber Danger, yeah, channels like that. So, you know, I love video games since I was a kid. It's like the one thing I can remember, which I still do. If I were to think, like, what is one thing I'm still doing, which I was, I was doing when I was a kid, it's probably video games because people grow up, they change a lot. Video games is the one thing I remember, and video games has improved a lot, right? There was a time where people were like, oh, video game, what are you, child? To like, wait a minute, this is so good, everybody's doing it. It's like near simulation-like, right? There'll be a time where games becomes a simulation, where people just like with their Apple VR headset and shit like that, will just play games and shit. Maybe not Apple, because I guess Apple don't care about video games that much. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought you know, Apple PC and Apple Macs are going to be great with the video gaming, until I realized, wait a minute, they are not. So what's the point of all that money? Okay, whatever. So let's do this one. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. What is a League of Legends? That's a very good question. On the surface, it's a MOBA, which is still popular, despite most games ending after top or mid feeds free kills. A snowball of mistakes which start the moment you begin queuing. Win or lose, the only victory is choosing not to play. Each day, I leave a dirty dish on the counter. Each day, I come back, and the ants establish a new Silk Road to carry my table scraps. League players are much the same. They're conditioned for abuse and return to their abuser without fail, because they're going to change for real this time. Door dashing, a bottom-friendly diet, prepares the League player for a lifetime of incontinence as they get shafted daily by Riot Games. Come clock going up my brain. I'm gonna die, are the last words of each individual that subjugates their white matter to League. Their lifeless body is found at the computer, and their parents cry as they explain to the coroner that the purple-skinned midget dwarves their son was fapping to was a- By the way, that, that food guy, right? That was like a big thing in like internet right now. That food guy that was so famous, people were making memes about it. What is, I don't know, mukbang, whatever they're called, right? Where they eat food all the- He became slim as fuck, right? That was a surprise. Right, people didn't see that shit coming, but at least when I see something like that, I'm like, yeah, that's good, right? Because when people see like, okay, who's the big guy who eats food all the time? He, he's the one people are thinking of, and even if he gets slim, right? That's like inspiration type of shit, like, okay, I guess I should get slim as well. There is some positivity there. In fact, popular characters Lulu and Tristana from League of Legends. And this will be your fate, should you ignore my warnings. The big question on everyone's mind, is Dota 2 better than... Yes, yes it is. Then again, this is a comparison between playing with emotionally unstable Germans and whoever hasn't been conscripted to the front lines. They're not playing to win, they're playing to forget... Oh my because this is their life. Oh my sister, but that EA thing is seriously out of hand. I saw a video about, like, what was it, like, Harry Potter in, like... Redneck country or something where they're like banjos playing <laughs> Harry Potter the mullet and shit that is EA is getting insanely good man, right? I didn't thought of it. I don't know why people are like fear mongering about EA a lot Not not that there is no reason to it But still like shit like that is gonna emerge from that which is like every time you know You know if there was a scenario when this happened, you'd be so awesome You just think you know that those developers should do this somebody should make movie about that You can just do use AI to like at least 80 90% accuracy make shit like that.
and solo queue before getting deployed to Donbass. Additionally, every dollar spent on Leak is a dollar spent on the 2027 reunification of Chinese Taipei. Every dollar spent on Dota is another calorie consumed by Gabe Newell. But you'll never play then, because all the female bot lane characters are in League, and you'll continue in the hopes of finding a mentally unstable e-girl with borderline personality disorder, so her insane demonic genes may combine with your autism. You will Damn. flood the earth with your autistic, non-verbal offspring. The meek shall inherit bronze free, which by that point will be even lower, and the average rank will be Driftwood 5. Son, I have a confession to make. I invested your entire trust fund into based groy per coin. And unfortunately, I lost everything. Luckily, I still had 500 bucks to buy the new fake Harari skin. Please, don't rope yourself. Think of how much rope I'm going to be shooting when your diabetic mother cosplays her at PAX East. Unfortunately, we're in debt, and I'm forced to sell you off to a wealthy, charismatic homosexual. Please, forgive me. In the same way that I've already forgiven myself. You couldn't understand the philosophy of his company by seeing which champions they release. After all, they know their audience. Women for the porn sick gooners, women for the e-kittens dating them, and children for Jax players. Why even spend money on gifting your e-girl skins when you can save 80% by lacing her drinking water with fluoxetine for the same effect? I have a theory about League, and it pertains to all mainstream multiplayer games. Chat filters in moderation don't fix the problem. They only serve to stifle the Aryan spirit. Now, everyone's become a little tattletale skirting around the rules, trying to infuriate you so they can send their epic report to Daddy Riot. You know what this makes you? You're the same as that one kid who cries to the principal. Snitches get... Okay. I mean, I get it. It's 2009 game, but I... I thought League of Legends like gonna be like something better looking. Like, I don't know. Am I confusing this game with something? Nah, I don't think I am. I don't know. Uh, wait a second. No, I'm not being confused, right? Arcane, there was a, like, Netflix show on this law, right? So, okay, if, if there's such a big fan base and if they're, like, so big like that, like, I don't know, why not improve the game so it looks better? Like, I get it, 2009 game, right? It's, like, it's been 15 years since then. But still, like, I, I mean, again, I guess, I guess I can see it. I played a game like this when I was a kid, multiplayer game, right? Uh, PvP, PV, you know, uh, shit like that. Uh, which is basically like this with multiple maps and I guess, you know, it can have a big ass lore, but I don't know. I always picture something more than this. Nowadays, I don't know like, if I can play games like this or not because like Seth said, uh, you know, people are just like basically, feels like people are on cocaine or some shit and then playing it for like millions of years and just no shit that you'll never learn type of way. So it's just always like, why play this game? You're always gonna get screwed stitches and if it were up to me we'd take you to birmingham and stone you to death in sharia court you cannot suppress the human condition we are the sons of the retards you could not lobotomize similarly vanguard doesn't prevent cheating the only purpose of it is for shishu hongshu intern at riot games to push a bad update and destroy my computer you know how you cheat in this game you make a smurf and then you're at a level playing field because everyone else made one before you at this point there's no such thing as a new player only a yasuo main who can't leave silver. Despite this, Riot will never do anything, which is probably for the best, as any decision they've ever taken is always the worst. Come back in a few years when surrender votes start at 10 minutes, and simply thinking of a racial slur activates Vanguard. League is an ontological anchor in time. We represent our lives not in years, but as emotion before and after quitting League. Tyler won, got permabanned, now he's a father. Video game donkey banned himself, now he's pregnant. I got 30 day chat restricted. Now I take subcutaneous clitoral injections of 5cc trenbolone and I've never felt better. League is the demiurge. To break out of this asylum, you must realize there is no lock or key. Yeah, when it comes to trend, right? I realize that there is a sign to know if somebody's on train. I guess they get red as fuck. There's a side effect. So somebody's like really red, right? People say, oh, look at that. He worked out so much. It's like his blood pressure is high or something. No, he's on trend, basically. If, if you get that red, basically. And we may simply walk away. Despite my critique, there is a purpose to League. It's the best psychological evaluation out there. Forget the MBTI or whatever. We need to conduct job interviews by making the applicant play League of Legends. Everything you need to know about a person's character you'll learn from watching ranked solo queue. And make sure he's playing a support. If your friendship can withstand League, it's already tested and we stand as brothers. I rendered this in 4K on my MacBook Pro. I can see shit like that happening, I'm not gonna lie, right? Uh, you know, the, the, there are some creative people who's like, 
okay, what is your like degree? What, what PhDs you have? That's all great. But how about you play League of Legends for a month or two and then come back and then tell me your experience of like what are we value it after that? They might feel far-fetched, but it's really not at the highest level, right? Bloomberg, right? When he was starting his company, uh, you know, he, he didn't hire a lot of like MBAs and like, uh, you know, business administrator and basically somebody who's just like tuned to how to run a business or like accountants and shit. No, he, he hired a lot of, you know, like, uh, you know, people with physics degree, people with mathematic degree, right? You think, what the fuck? What, what do they know how to run a business? But in his mind, he knew that this, you know, people like physicists are like insane problem solvers, right? Mathematicians, obviously, they are the insane problem solvers. And then he taught them slowly how to basically run a business. That comes secondary. Problem solving was for him the f most important point. And look at where he is now, right? How rich he is now. So I can see people who, who just thinks a certain way. They're like, okay, you know what? Let's see what you, how you do with this game in a month or two. Your results will speak for you, like how, how creative you are or some shit. I can see that happening. Might be a bit far, bit far fetched, but I can see that happening. Hopefully, the extra effort comes through. The personal computer is a modern manifestation of Solomon's temple. Leaving a pulmonary embolism on Google servers is the least I can do. Initially, I fought a lot of people complaining about audio were audio files. These are people who molest music instead of children. It is my unfortunate discovery that after five years of doing this full time, that I have been recording audio with an XLR microphone without installing any drivers. However, like a mama bird vomiting my regurgitated food into your mouth, I know what you truly... Well, uh, this is an XLR mic as well, but you can put XLR mic directly into PC. That's not how it works, right? You need to turn that into electronic signal, so you need an audio interface. If you have an audio interface, and I'm pretty sure one of the videos he showed Scarlett or something, right? So I'm pretty sure your Windows will automatically download drivers for that. I'm sure you could do it and some, a lot of time drivers, you know, Windows kind of fuck it up, uh, you know, installs old one, but it's still a driver, so it should work fine, right? I have SSL too, uh, not Scarlet because, I don't know, SSL2 is better or some shit. Uh, you know, I've researched it a lot and just like overwhelming SSL2 is better and better like gain and shit, so fuck it. And I see it is better, like even the, you know, monitor speakers and shit that I have like, you know, runs well. I've, you know, I've, I've seen and there was a you know clicking shit uh, in some of the video where he's saying like his video suddenly starts to click. I can that's a driver issue obviously. So I don't know. It could be Scarlet issue, right? They probably didn't upload you know like updated driver or some shit. So Windows just like was you know downloading shitty drivers. We need so it has been unfortunate for the listener, but I must inform you, I've uninstalled them and have no intention of getting better. In fact. I'll make it worse. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchant's Guild, gang stalking my enemies until they die. You're all truly wonderful. I have no idea who these men are, and I'm not complicit in any crimes. Your Honor. Have a good one. You know, even pause in a sets and tech video is like I'm panicking. Because you, if, if I pause a photo and just like run it for multiple seconds, YouTube like, what was that, what was that, that was some significant, significant thing. And there you go. Yeah, League of Legends, I didn't see that coming, that was a surprise to me, League of Legends looking like that. But yeah, 2009 game, I don't know what I was expecting. But then again, like 2009, like this is after crisis, right? Even a year or two, but still. Uh, obviously, this is like a multiplayer game, so it can't be crisis. I know that, I'm not stupid. But still, like, I assume they would update it over time or some shit. But again, like, people have told me, like, why is Minecraft so famous? Because it's shit, right? It doesn't require that much to run. So most people can play it. I'm guessing that's the same thing with this. Like, they don't want to update it because that means as older PC people can't play it. And that's a problem. Yeah, it was, like, interesting. Apparently, this has a big lore. Of it. There's also a Netflix series on it and all that shit. I didn't know that. I always assume, like, there's going to be some 3D models that they're basing TV series on. But if you're just, like, looking from top and just, like, button messing, you can barely see uh, characters and shit. Like, f yeah. would there be any nostalgia about a TV series on Netflix? I don't know. I'm, I'm betting, like, most of the people who watch this so probably didn't even know what a League of Legends is because... Like Seth said, League of Legends players, like, probably gonna play League of Legends rather than watching some shit with Doritos, Stain or some shit, right? <laughs> I remember playing a game like that when I was a very small, I don't know, like, 
10, 11 years old or something. I don't, know, I don't know the name of that game, but there was a game like that. I can remember like challenging straight, it can be addictive. I remember playing for weeks, for hours and end, where I never played an online game before. I was very like off, you know, single player, elder schools type of guy. And I'd be like, what the fuck, why am I playing this so much? Why is this so addictive? At the time I was a kid, so I don't realize what addictiveness is. It was a surprise to me first, like why is this happening, right? So yeah. Alright, well, if you like my next one, subscribe and I'll see you next time.